a squared plus b squared equal to 544 and we want to find a plus b okay so first prime let's prime factorize 544 four, four. it is multiple of 4 because last two digit 44 is multiple of 4 it will be 1 14 3 24 6 again 136 is multiple of 4 because 36 last two digit is multiple of 4 it will be 4 times 3 times 4, 12, 16, 34. Okay, now let me tell you something. If A is even, means A equal to 2Q, let's consider any X. If, for example, a number X is 2Q, even, so X squared will be 2Q squared. Which we can say 4q squared, q squared we consider as k, it will be 4k. And second one, if x is 2q plus 1. So x squared is 2q plus 1 squared. And a plus b squared equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. So it will be first one 2q squared plus 1 squared. That's 2 times 2q times 1. It will be 4q squared plus 1 plus 4q. You can factor from 4, it will be q squared plus q plus 1. It will be 4k. You can say q squared plus q as k or w, 4k plus 1. I mean the remainder of a square number when divided by 4 is 0 or 1. Now, at first, we have a squared plus b squared equal to 5, 4, 4, which the remainder when divided by 4 is 0, because it is 4 times 4 times 34. a squared, we say it is 0, 1, 0, 1. The only possible case, because 1, 1 is 2, the remainder. The only possible case is 0, 0. So we conclude a and b are even numbers. So, in next step, we can conclude what we can say. We can say a equal to 2a1 equal to 2b1 and a squared plus b squared, which is 544, equal to 2a1 squared plus 2b1 squared to 544 it is 4a1 squared it's 4b1 squared equal to 544 is what 4 times 136 now we divide both sides by 4 and a1 squared plus b1 squared equal to 136 if we use the same thing again we conclude a1 b1 should be even a1 squared plus b1 squared equal to 136 which is 4 times 34. Again, we can conclude. A1 is even. A1 is 2A2, B1 is 2B2. So A1 squared will be 2A2 squared. B1 squared will be 2B2 squared. Will be 4 times 34. 2A2 squared is 4A2 squared. 4b2 squared equal to 4 times 34. And then we divide both sides by 4. It will be a2 squared plus b2 squared equal to 34. Now, let's see, can we find two numbers that are perfectly squared and their sum is 34. 36 is greater than 34, the previous one 25 plus 5 plus 4, 9. And 16, 16, not possible. The only possible case is this. Now, problem says a plus b is what? a is 2a1, 2b1, and a1 is 2a2, 2b2. So, we can say a is 2a1, and a1 is 2a2. So, it will be 4a2. And b is what? 2b1, b1 is 2b2. It will be 4b2. Problem says a plus b is what? So it means that for 
times a2 plus b2 is what? So a2 can be plus, it is not important to switch 925 or 259 because we want to find some of them. So from this part, a2 can be plus minus 5. And the, in the problems, in this problem, a and b are integers. Right? Because if it is they are in real numbers, we have infinitely many solutions. And b2 can be plus minus 3. So we consider different cases. It will be 4, 5 plus 3, negative 5, negative 3, 5 minus 3, minus 5 plus 3. And it will be 4 times 8 or negative 8 or 2 or negative 2. And if you write all answers, plus minus 32 and plus minus. So we found four answers for this problem. And as homework, let me write new problem a squared plus b squared equal to 600. Find a plus b is what, and a and b are integers. And comment your answers right below this video. If you have questions, send message on my WhatsApp number, and please don't forget to subscribe. Turn on notification and like the video. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.